I'm going to show you the difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S. Hey everyone, I'm Josh Smith with GabyMobile.com and we have an iPhone 6 mock-up straight from China next to our iPhone 5S straight from Verizon Wireless. Here we have what case makers, what rumors, what analysts think the new iPhone 6 will look like. This is the 4.7 inch screen version. We also expect one with a 5.5 inch screen, although the latest rumors suggest that could face a short delay after the release of the iPhone 6. So, as you can see, there is a difference in size that comes from a screen jump from 4 inches to 4.7 inches. With that, we end up with a phone that is a little bigger. As you can see here, there is a difference in width if you have a MagSafe 2 adapter or just a pencil, that is about what you're looking at here. It's not too big, but there's definitely a difference. And if we look at the top, we have about the difference of a bezel. So as you see here, if you take an extra bezel from your iPhone 5S, that's about what you end up with with the bigger screen. And handy, if you have a MagSafe 2 adapter and you put it at the top of your iPhone 5S, you get about the same size overall. So, as you can see, there is a size difference. In terms of thickness, we'll show you some photos that offer a better look, but in our mock-up, there's not a huge size difference. And it's not clear if that is simply because it's a mock-up and the gaps and stuff aren't quite as tight as on a perfectly designed iPhone 6 that rolls off the production line. Some rumors suggest the iPhone 6 will be 7 as thin as seven millimeters, whereas the iPhone 5S is 7.6 millimeters. There were originally some rumors that it would be as thin as an iPod Touch, which is 6.1 millimeters, but that's not something that looks like will come true, at least based on this mock-up. And there are certainly users out there who would much rather have a slightly thicker iPhone that delivers better battery life than one that is thinner and needs recharged quite a bit. In terms of design changes, when we look at the front of these, the biggest difference is the size of the screen. The bezels over here are slightly different. Our corners are a little more rounded and the edge of this curves off slightly. We'll show a photo of that for a little better detail on how that compares to the straight edge and chamfer, straight side and chamfered edge on the iPhone 5S. Now, if we look at the sides, the first thing you'll notice on the right-hand side is there's a power button. The power button moves from the top to the side. And why that's important is when you move to a, a larger phone like this, hitting that power button up there, especially if you're trying to do so with your thumb, is a challenge. With it on the side, when you're trying to use this with one hand, you can usually hit that with your index finger so you can access it. On the other side, we have our volume buttons, which are now thinner and slightly longer. And we have a switch there as well. For the bottom, we have a very similar design, headphone jack, speaker, lightning in the middle. There's a slightly new design for the microphone. This is actually a microphone on the iPhone 5S, even though it kind of looks like it's another speaker. This could be filled out for a more symmetrical look in the final design. From a design standpoint, the iPhone 6 is, again, slightly curved, and we have a new look for the back. Now, this is missing a logo and the other stuff like that because it's just a mock-up, so we expect to have a logo and iPhone and these markings on there. What's new, though, is this is all aluminum with some markings here to indicate some type of antenna opening. And now this is similar to what we see on the HTC One M8. There are these small bands in here that allow antenna signals to pass through. The mock-ups we've seen have an open logo so far right in here, so that may play a role in that. And the main difference is this is glass versus aluminum. So we may see a full aluminum back similar to what we see on a uh, iPad or iPad mini. And with this design, we're hearing that these may be markers designed to help engineers or case makers know that there's some kind of communication happening in there. But again, we could see those tighten up to something that looks nicer by the time the iPhone 6 actually arrives later this year. 
I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com, and that's our iPhone 5S versus iPhone 6 comparison video to show you what you can expect from Apple later this year if you're trying to decide between picking out an iPhone 5S right now and waiting for an iPhone 6 that's going to be slightly larger and offer new features. You can head over to GottaBeMobile.com. The link is in the description, and you'll see more of these differences and, and some reasons why you might want to wait or if you prefer the smaller design, why you may want to jump on some of these iPhone 5S deals right now. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment letting us know what you'd like to see the iPhone 6 compared to next.